Ranking Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, Rep. Adam Schiff, gave voice to what many Americans been thinking about President Donald Trump recently. Schiff stated, we have a seriously flawed human being in the Oval Office. Further, Schiff made it clear that most of the members of Congress have the same concerns. I don't think there is anyone in Congress, frankly, of either party who does not concur at least privately with those observations and concerns, certainly, very few are willing to express them publicly in Congress, and I think that's to the detriment of our institution. I'm not sure how anyone could be surprised by Schiff's remarks. To review some of the highlights of his political career, he's made promises he hasn't come close to keeping. He works short days and golfs nearly every other weekend. He tweets like a toddler having a tantrum. He is disrespectful to foreign leaders. Any criticism of his actions is met with a loud recitation of his now infamous cry of fake news. He seems no idea what he is doing and bucks the opinions of those around him who do. Most of the people who still support Donald Trump likely do so for two reasons. One, because he was an outsider. As someone who hasn't spent his life in politics or public service, his supporters thought that perhaps he would change the business as usual attitude of Washington leaders. The other reason, repeated over and over again by his supporters, is that Trump tells it like it is. But there are flaws in both those thoughts. I understand the desire to elect a politician who is going to change the way the game is played, someone who can bring fresh ideas to the table. But because Trump had never served in a public office, he had no idea what he was doing. Being a leader in business isn't the same as being the leader of a country. Even if one ignores all of Trump's bankruptcies and failures in the business world, he still didn't have the experience necessary for the job he aspired to do. I watch a lot of television, but I'm not prepared to be the CEO of Netflix. As far as telling it like it is, that's the dumbest reason I've ever heard for electing someone to public office. I mean, if your drunk Uncle Joe probably tells it like it is, Drunk Uncle Joe will gladly euphemistically discuss the size of his genitalia. Drunk Uncle Joe will talk about grabbing women by their crotches. But I can't think of a single person who would want Drunk Uncle Joe in any type of leadership position or elected to office, much less become the leader of the U.S. We all have flaws. That's part of being human. But we knew what Trump's flaws were when he was elected to office. He had flaunted them for decades, with clearly no intention of changing them. The problem is no longer that we have a flawed leader. The problem is, what are we going to do about it now?